Hello and welcome back to the Island Sanctuary for patch 6.3. I have a feeling we're going to be doing quite a few videos as we slowly rank up here. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the new furnishing items. You can get all of these from rank 10. I'm not sure if you can get them before rank 10 because I can't go backwards in rank. But uh, I'm currently rank 11 at the moment and it's the, the most painful um leveling up process ever i would definitely not recommend going out there and grinding nodes it's just not worth your time just do it periodically with your expeditions and things so at least rank 10 i'm not sure if before there is a bunch of items that i'd missed uh, previously so i did some videos on some of the other stuff uh, if we go to seafarer carries and we go to equipment and furnishings i totally forgot there was a furnishing tab and if we click show only recently added items and click on others we have the low garden hedge the 1000 we have the lemonade stand which is a furnishing design contest winner for 1000 we have the stone garden wall for 1000 and we have the colorful flower patch so what we should do is we should buy at least one of each of these and then we'll go and have a look at them so i'm thinking we'll get a couple of walls right and then we'll get one of these hedges one stand and let's just get one of the flower patches there we go so save some of my carries at least for future videos all right let's go look at these items and I'll probably wait for day so we can see them properly all right here we are at the fc uh, garden area where i've cleared a nice big space because we're going to need it to demonstrate these items i think we'll start off with uh, with the lemonade stand i think that would be a good idea it says when life gives you lemons create a lemonade empire from but a humble stall like this one. Kind of wanted to do the Cave Johnson voice, but yeah, I'd probably deafen you at that point. Right, so this is the lemonade stand, um, one of the fantastic um, uh, furnishing design contest entries. That is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. Hold on, let's come out of those menus for a second and look at this up close. That is really cute. Really, really cute. So, yeah. I'm glad that got put into the game. It's unique things like this that need to be added. You know, things that take the principle of this is a traditional housing item and then do something different. So realistically, it's a keg on the top of a massive chest with a lemonade sign in Aeorzean alphabet lowercase, which looks fantastic, by the way. And then we've got lemons. So we do, in fact, have lemons in Aeorzea. In fact... There appears to be behind the desk probably prices i'm not sure what this would be actually it's a too blurry to tell but uh, i like to imagine that it would be some kind of rp text of of guidance or ingredients of the exact perfect specifications for the most perfect of lemonades because you don't want it too tart and you don't want it too sweet either you want a perfect refreshing taste in the summer i love lemonade so yeah, it doesn't have any interactions. It doesn't need any interactions, does it? Uh, this is a furnishing colorable, furnish diable, furnishing diable item. Let's put the color wheel up there. So the thing that actually changes color, as you would imagine, is the wood. That looks really good, doesn't it? I like that. I'm happy that it was the wood um, and not anything else that changed color. I think most people would be disappointed if it was just like the sack or something that changed color. So. Good choice, looks good. Nice wood grain effects. It's gonna look really good in a lot of different colors, especially if you're trying to match with some decking nearby or some other furnishing pieces. You know, it's always nice to match colorations. Yeah, good stuff. I don't think we need to dwell too much on what the rest of these colors look like, to be perfectly honest with you. All right, let's look at the next item. That is a really cool item though. I'm very happy that's in the game. I'm gonna charge you $8.99 for, a, for a, a glass of lemonade. Um, no, it'd be £2.88, wouldn't it? Because we're doing cash shop prices. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, next housing item we have is... Um, I suppose we should do these walls, right? We've got the stone garden wall. I bought two of these. It says, Someone painstakingly fitted these stones into a rustic wall for your garden. You didn't, but somebody did. I really like that text. Yeah, the <laughs> oh, it's that type of wall. Yeah, we had um, visit. There's, there's a house up the road from where we live that used to have walls like this, the big stone walls, and um, they're on the bend. 
of of like a, a quite a busy road without mentioning anything and um there used to be a wall is like i say there used to be a wall um it's been driven through by lorries overturned so many times it's crazy so these walls look fantastic um it's a shame that they're not longer i mean i've always got to find something to complain about haven't i i'm very sorry it's something i shouldn't really complain about at all they do look fantastic though uh, especially if you're trying to create like a walled off garden area you could use just two of these for example i could put one there and one here and then make like this the effect of an outside room especially with different planters and trees and stuff i quite like that there isn't enough ways of dividing spaces in outdoors areas especially um you know what we have to do is things like creating raised decks with pools around it but walls would be great and we had uh, obviously hedge partitions and things like that but just simple walls like this are nice it's really nice textured as well um a really nice coloration that comes with it uh, i believe these are also furnished colorable furnished dire bubble -bu -bu um wow that is really bright it's cool though because you could get like an almost slate sort of color um you could go for bright pink walls if you want to live in minecraft slash fortnite world then you too could dye your walls bright pink that that is you could see that from space i'm pretty sure holy so you've got some really good colors here really good dye options um for this item but my goodness it's a bright item to begin with so uh you you're, you're able to just do some really crazy things i suppose if you wanted to create something more traditional like favnerian you want that vibrant colors and stuff or maybe you want to do some like hippo rider sort of try to recreate that kind of thing all vibrant colors you know to represent that that part of the in-game world so yeah i can see the bright colors working but me personally oh wow look at the jet black that looks really cool side by side i quite like that right so those are the walls i'm very happy with those very good item so far two for two i think most people might agree um the next item then is the low garden hedge it says a stand of shrubbery cut to optimal height for confounding local halophiles <laughs> so it's deliberately this specific height so that lalafels can't look over it but everyone else can that's kind of bad if you think about it but also hilarious and uh, what they've done is they've made the same sort of stone uh, outcropping so you can like butt it up to that obviously we could snap to grid to make that better but that looks really nice actually so we've made this nice enclosed space we've got a couple of walls and then we've got the hedge hey it's really nice look at the detail on that holy moly there's more polygons in that than i've ever seen in in any of the other hedge partitions it looks really well kept and from a distance that's that is absolutely exceptional Wow. Huh. I believe that's also furnished diable. Um, I think. Is it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's the bottom of the hedge, though. Not the actual hedge itself. So if you're looking to try and make a bright pink hedgerow, um, not this time, at least. But you can <laughs> but you can make the base stones whatever color you want, which is cool. That is a nice added feature. Honestly, I'm surprised they even let us change the color on any part of this housing item to be honest with you it, it's not something they would necessarily normally do very cool stuff and then finally then the last item or at least the last item that i'm aware of added to island sanctuary on housing at least up to the rank i am is the colorful flower patch it says a burst of blossoms that will bring a smile to any face excellent stuff let's have a look at this wow that is yeah that is a burst of blossoms <laughs> my goodness look at that let's uh let's turn off the ui whoa we've got all kinds of flowers here are these snapdragons in the middle they kind of look a little bit snapdragony obviously the closer you get the more pixely this is going to be like chrysanthemums and like daisies maybe and wow that's like they've gone and got every single flower from the video game and put them into one patch 
it's so bright in the the open day you know midday sun here perfect timing for this video recording by the way i'm glad i waited yeah look at that i mean we could zoom in further but actually it's kept a lot of its um of its quality even zoomed in it's very pretty my one concern with this though because we're so limited on housing slots it's beautiful don't get me wrong but i wish it was bigger right times this by 10 into a much bigger circle <laughs> seriously and then um and then we could like make a feature about it like an actual raised bed it's a little bit too small it is absolutely beautiful though i love it anyway which is your favorite part of this obviously that one's not diable or at least i don't think it is diable it shouldn't be diable yeah it's not diable Right, so which is your favorite item that got added to Island Sanctuary's housing stuff? Personally, I think the lemonade stand is the most unique. Um, it definitely stands out <laughs> and doesn't leave me with a sour taste. Wow, that was all ad-libbed. I feel really bad for you. I, I need sleep, I think. But <laughs> I like the walls. There's not anything I dislike there, but I think that the, the garden patch could have been a bit bigger. But it is very beautiful, and I suppose um, you could put that... In amongst some other things to just add a bit of decoration very cool stuff anyway more 6.3 stuff on the way we've got lots of housing items to look at i am kind of waiting for certain prices of things to come down so just to bear that in mind before we you know you complain that i haven't done a video on something i will be getting to it it's just a process and there's a lot of stuff that's locked behind things as well especially subaquatic voyages holy moly that's a, a tale for another time all right much love more 6.3 stuff on the way and i'll see you all next time bye, -bye.